All right, so this is going to be our fourth bike oil that we're testing. Caster 927 from Maxima. Um, got high hopes for this. Uh, we'll see. Uh, one of the uh, crazy things is I uh, just mixed up the fuel and there's very little dye in here at all. Um, but, you know, as long as you know what you're doing, you're good. It's just strange not seeing a lot of tint and some fuel. Um, let's take it out of the wood pile and go run it. Need to tidy up this chain and uh, we'll come back and we'll do a teardown. All right, just like always, I'm just going to do a little quick cut and you'll see. I'm going to mix it up in between some small stuff, some big stuff, just to try and simulate regular cutting. If you want it changed a little bit on the aggressive side it pulled me toward the log anyway let me finish running this tank of gas and i will get back to the shop yeah i've done a bunch of little cutting it's more big cut and you cut some of this hickory up take back to the house and i was like man i might be about done with this tank of gas and when you look in here there's hardly any dye in the caster 927 it's just <laughs> i'm like ah <laughs> uh, nothing to worry about it's 40 to 1. Anyway, let me finish the last of this tank of gas out. We'll see you back at the shop. I will say, when I was uh, running this, one of the guys who was out at the wood lot, he came running over. He was, I don't know, 100 feet away from me. And he said, man, what are you running in that? He said, that brings me back to my old dirt bike days. Is that caster? I said, yeah. Kind of smells like, I don't know, butter and caramel. I don't know. Yeah, it's... It's a uh, very pleasant smelling oil. Uh, managed to score me some good hickory in the process. Uh, let's take a look and see what the, uh, I won't do the entire breakdown with you because it does take a little while. The uh, linkage and everything here in the intake box is a little bit more time consuming than it is. Got a nice amber color on that. I mean, there's, looks like it's burning just right. I mean, it's tuned, it's Emtronic. I mean, you know, you can't screw that up. But, uh, well, I guess why I got you here, we'll just take a couple of minutes and we'll take a, a just a quick peek before I pull the top end off. Damn, that looks good. Had a guy over at the house the other day, we were talking about oils and he'd been running a manufacturer's oil and i was like cuz you i gotta get you on the program man so these bike oils are really really nice i don't know if, if you can just see as it is right there how wonderfully nice and shiny everything is that's good lubrication really nice
I already cracked the head bolts loose. I, you know, this has been an interesting ride for me. I've learned a lot more than I ever imagined I would about two-stroke oil. Uh, so I'm, with that being said, I'm excited to, uh, you know, see the, the results just as much as anybody else. So, So, wash pattern looks good. So, you can see, now this, this is set overnight. Kind of this uh, tackiness. And I, maybe that's the ester base. Uh down in the crankcase, get a little extra light on here. You know, we're not gonna be able to see this as visual as some of the other oils is just glistening. Um, and how everything does. Looks killer to me. Um, certainly not as clean as, you know, I, I buffed the top of this piston. I can't get the staining out of this magnesium piston. I don't know whatever coating it was, but whoever had it before me, you know, there's that kind of brownish look that's there. And you know, like no amount of like, you know, spraying some bright clean on here or whatever seems to do anything but the piston crown has been super clean on the other oils i'd say this is a little dirtier looking at that wash pattern but you know since this has only had the bike oils run through it hold still and you can see the combustion chamber hasn't even thought about or at least the squish band hasn't even thought about gathering even the first little thought of any carbon. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, not a whole lot to see here. It's really good. Um, You know, I wish I could trash talk something. I can't. Uh, you know, I don't know how that would look over the long haul. Yeah, you because know, it's it's definitely there. It's you can feel it. It's kind of gummy, gooey. Nothing really transferred back to my thumb. <laughs> so not the cleanest of the oils. It certainly smells the best. All right, so the next oil I'll be testing is Lucas. I can't believe how many people want me to tr try this stuff. It's cheap for sure. I can't remember what. This was four ninety five at my auto parts store for a pint. Um, it is FD rated, but the the reason why I really like these, and one of the things we some of these are unrated or they're assumed to be an FC or or whatever. Um. When you start looking at the viscosity, so in the test, in the, if you look at the data sheets, they'll have a viscosity rating at 40 degrees centigrade, 100 degrees centigrade, and 200 degrees centigrade, and it shows how heat affects the oil. And because these start off more viscous than regular oils, they even show better results as it gets hotter some better than others <clears throat> and i think that just gives you better cling in the crankcase and on the piston so all your moving parts do really well and i know this is an incredibly crude way of showing it so the lucas is right here and then the caster is the clear the motul so they're all in order 
So if I lean this up and just let those go, you know, the Lucas has got some decent viscosity, but it's noticeably thinner. Just shaking the bottle. Uh, some of the other oils I did really ran fast. You know, let me do, uh, see if I can't find that bottle of ultra I had hanging around here and I'll throw a blob on there. All right, here we go. And again, you know, there's not a whole lot scientific about this. It's just to show you that our chainsaw manufacturers oils are a lot thinner. I mean, that just spreads right out and it just makes a beeline. Isn't that amazing? And I think that's why we don't see as much film in the crankcase with Ultra, is that it's easily dilute. Well, it's diluted with the gasoline and loses its its cling. All right, I think I've mentioned this in some of the other videos along the way, but just talking about these motorcycle oils, uh, I don't think you could find a better oil on the market than HV2. Um, the HR1 did exceptionally well. Oh, by the way, uh, Jake Mesa, if uh, you guys know his channel, uh, he does commercial logging, so he's able to do these long-term tests and tear down. Um, and he runs H1R, uh, his buddy runs Motul 800, and you know, long-term, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of runtime. Uh, he's seen a little bit more long-term carbon buildup with the Motul. And I can only guess that the caster would have some, some buildup after a while. But, uh, you know, when I just, I know these one tank tests, I'm more looking for lubricity and get, you know, keeping everything moving. You know, you'll have to keep an eye on your carbon wear yourself. I mean, I, I, I certainly can't and don't have the time and means to cut hundreds of hours and, and show long-term tests. But, uh, you know, my main focus as a mechanic is I want your stuff to keep running and be well lubricated. So, HB2 first place, H1R second place, Mo2 800, and the 927. I know I'm probably going to get flame in the bike community. It's just that, that that one tank ran a little bit on the dirty side for me. Okay? Smelled great, uh, and I don't think there'd be anything wrong with it, but I think... You know, they try and offset this. So this is 60% caster base and 40 per, or and whatever the main majority of the, uh, the oil base is ester on the other side. Um, anyway, I think this has been a lot of fun. Um, it'll probably be a week or two before I can get to this. I'm still super busy with chainsaws. I got some 500 eyes to port. Uh, there's some performance work on a couple other saws that need to be done. So those videos will be coming here in the next week. Uh, I certainly appreciate you staying with me. I appreciate everything and I'll see you on the next one.